Ha! So good of you all to come. Not that you had a choice. <laughs> I'll get right to the point. My plans to harvest the Dark Eye energy were nearly complete. Until my old rivals, the Nogus twins, took over my refinery. They repelled my initial investigation and captured Metal Sonic. My bandits are easy prey to their crystal powers. That's why I need you, my cybernetic supporters, to help me invade my own territory and take it back. This is why you summoned me to be a lowly foot soldier. <laughs> if these Nogus twins ousted you, perhaps they're the kind of leaders we should be following. You watch your tone. This is Lord Eggman you're talking to. We're to serve as every whim and like it. Don't waste your batteries, TB. I figured some of these ingrates would need a reminder. Which is why I prepared a little demonstration. This is... Did you even have a name? Eh, whatever, I'm calling you Tassel Boy. Tassel Boy here was the foreman of a small operation I had working secretly in Metropolis Zone. On his watch, a Freedom Fighter spy entered his ranks and Sonic stole a shield generator I'd been developing. So I activate the failsafe that I placed in all your cybernetics. He's completely locked up. Aware, but paralyzed. And he'll stay that way until I think he's learned his lesson. In, oh, 50 years or so. <laughs> Go file him away with the rest of them. They don't take up much room in their tiny, pitch-black holding slots. <laughs> <laughs> now then, any other objections to the mission? I didn't think so. Sir, if Dark Guy's energy is involved, won't we run the risk of monsters as well as the Twins' forces? Or could they even be used to our advantage? First intelligent questions all day. No, the spire at the center of it all is drawing in all the energy. There's not enough ambient energy for even a tiny monster to form. It's one less thing for us to worry about. Which is fine, because we have plenty to deal with as it is. In addition to the Nogus twins, there are their personal goons, the Witch Charters. They've also taken command of the Bannock Horde and local defenses there. So, the plan is to divide and conquer. I'll be splitting you into teams of two. You'll each be striking key targets, undermining the twins' support, so that when we move on to the full assault, they'll be completely overwhelmed, humiliated, crushed! <laughs> Team one is Tundra and Acklet. You'll- What? <laughs> I know there's bad blood between you two, but you serve me, so personal vendettas are null and void. Think of this as a team-building experience. Anyway, the Witch Charter seem to be getting a power boost for my harvest energy. You shut down the summoning spire temporarily to cut them off. <laughs> Funny place the tides have brought us, isn't it? Once you thought your tribe could conquer mine, and now here we are, comrades. I do miss those days sometimes. The roar of battle, the crack of metal and bone. Good, honest conquest. All the warriors who followed you haven't fallen, staining the ice. Your warriors fell too! True, but then you can never get past them to me, could you? <laughs> Clove and Thunderbolt, you're both quick. Your team too. You'll access the defense systems and switch them off. You're going to have to leave that. Never! Lord Eggman gated me with his glorious armor! I won't disrespect him and leave it behind! Which would be worse? Losing one of his many machines or failing his mission? I will be this! Nephthys and Maul, you're my newest recruits. You're Team 3. You'll shut down the command signal to the Bagnix. With that gone, 
the Nagus twins will have to direct them individually, dividing their focus. Quite the adventure, isn't it? I never expected to be so hands-on when helping the Doctor save the world. Save? I thought it was clear he's out to conquer it. Sometimes we need to be saved from ourselves. The Doctor seems to be the only one bold enough to make the hard choices and take radical actions. Don't you agree? You volunteered to serve, after all. You're not wrong. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Conquering Storm, you and Mordred are my best infiltrators. Your team four. Find the Witch Charters and take them out! Ah! I shouldn't be here. Direct combat is not my forte. No, you slunk <sighs> onto a throne only after selling your homeland to Eggman. Safe and honorless. There hasn't been a Sylvanian king in a hundred years, and the bloodline of the six noble houses is as thin as dishwater. What would you have me do? Surrender it to the acorns? Dredge up some lesser family like the Dekulets and give it to them? No, don't give anyone anything. No bartering, no bargaining. How in the world did you take command of anything? I gathered the strongest, then we took what we wanted. I see them this way. Cuckoo and Abyss, you go together because... You both have beaks! <laughs> That's good enough for Team 5. You're taking out the backup generator to the refinery, so everyone else's mission isn't a total waste of time. So, you're like royalty or something? The Cuckoo line is an old and proud family. We've been ruling the skies since the fall of Babylon. I am the 15th son of the noble lineage. Yippee for you. I'm a pirate. I steal stuff. You're no better than those filthy Babylon rogues. <laughs> like I care what you think. I signed on with Eggman, got all the best toys, and now I own the Southern Hemisphere. I've got a dozen ships in my armada. You've got what? One? The Battle Fortress is worth more than your entire fleet. Its power cannot be matched in all the skies. <laughs> Don't bust a giblet, Grandpa. All the teams are away, boss. Except yours, of course. Just putting the finishing touches on my trump card. <laughs> Wally won't know what hit him. Your countermeasure is charged and ready to go. That said, you've only got enough power to run it once, and for only five minutes. Plenty of time to be the ugly off that troll. There won't be much left after that. <laughs> Any reason I get the honor of riding with you, boss? We're Team Six, because I have an odd number of minions. I really ought to fix that after this. Let's ride! Let's <laughs> go.